Hi, welcome back to Genuine Core guys. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have seen how to create this uh, dialog box, this visual design dialog box, when we, the user enters some wrong information. So in this video, what I'm going to do is we want to disable uh, unexpected inputs. Suppose when the user types B101. It's okay or okay, there is okay I will check option then still the previous data is persisting in this UI components that is I mean this is b100 data this is not cleared when I type anything new so first we have to do that then this renew and submission option should be enabled only when there is a valid entry available here you got the point yes so let us do that in uh, step by step so coming here, this rs.next is where there is a successful entry found in the database. I mean, if only this if part execute, we need to do the further processing like a renewal or submission of the book. So first of all, whenever the user enters anything, I mean types anything, uh, and uh, press enter, we have to clear the entries first, right? Yeah. So I am going to uh, do something here. So clear entries. Clear entries. I am going to write a method here, and I, it is not yet created. So let's go there. So we have this clear entry section, and here we have to clear the old text. So I am going to put that there and uh, this here, so that I can keep track of this uh, component. So I have member name folder here. So first of all, member name folder dot. Let's see whether there is a clear option. There is no clear option because it is. A Text. So I want to uh, use this set text to this empty string. So I have to repeat this for member name holder, member email holder, and member contact holder. Then I have to repeat this for three others. That is book book information. So we have book name holder uh, like that. So let me do that. Book name holder, book author holder, book name holder is there. Then we have book other holder is there then book we have book publisher holder is there so book, book publisher holder is there so those three are done then there will be three entries regarding the book uh, issue information so issue date holder is there issue date holder then uh, number of days holder then find holder is there so find information holder so that much entries is there so that will be cleared whenever we type enter here now that part is okay and uh, we have to disable this button as default i mean renew and submission option so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more method private void disable enable controls so here we will pass a variable boolean variable so i'm going to create a boolean should be uh, ena should enable flag so i'm going to give an enable flag uh, here and if the enable flag is true that is if enable flag then we will enable those button okay yeah so this renew button this renew button uh, let's check its id so it doesn't have an id so renew button then we have submission button so I'm going to give it as submission button and I'm going to make that controller here. So main.fxml make controller. So renew button dot set enable or set disabled, set disabled. And here I am setting that disabled to opposite of enable flag. So we don't have set enable option. So I am going to use the reverse of this flag. So if it is enable flag, then output, I can simply use uh, set disable false. Then here also renew button. No, there is submission button dot set disable. And here I am going to set it as false. So both button will be enabled. In the opposite case, if it is not enabling, we have to disable it. So here I will set that to disable to true so it will be disabled. So I mean uh, we can just make use of this enable flag uh, variable here by negating it using not value but 
I think this is much more readable. So let's do that way. So when we clear entries, we just disable the controls also. Okay, so here we have to pass a value. So disable uh, enable controls and here enable flag. I am going to send that to false. So it will execute this part. Say disable. It will disable these two part. And what I am going to do is uh, load book information too. So from here we are clearing the entries. And here what I am going to do is here when it is a success. I mean there are enough entries. I will enable the control. So let us call that function. Disable enable control. And here I am going to enable those button. So this will be called only when there is a successful uh, database entry corresponding to this book ID. Let's run the code for now. So GC root, then here coming back to renew submission section, I am going to enter the book. I, I am going to enter B100. So now these books are, these are enabled, these options are enabled. And if I type B101, then it will clear those entries and new OK, I will check option. So I hope you got the point. And one more thing that I can do is I don't want to display these three uh, cards right here when there is no that. I can just hide them, right? Yes. So that will be better. Let's see how that will look like. So I'm going to this HBOX section and I'm going to view that as a uh, submission. Uh, what should we give the these are data? So submission data container. So I'm going to give the name as submission data container, then main.fxml main controller. So that is okay. Then here, if there is no data, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to hide option. I mean, I am setting the opacity to zero, so it will be hidden. So submission data container dot set opacity, and I am going to give the opacity to zero, so it will be hidden. Okay, then what I'm going to do is when there is a successful entry, I want to enable this. So, uh, submission data container, submission data container dot set opacity, and I'm going to set opacity to full opacity so it will be visible when there is actual data. Now, let us check that with uh, our program. So, GC and root, and here I am going to type something wrong. B101 so that is gone and if I press the real data uh, uh, it is capital B it is case sensitive so I can't just use B100 that way so B100 and uh, this data now all that I have to do is uh, for the initial value so when the program runs first this will be visible so by default I have to set the opacity to zero now it is not visible now for these two button renew and some condition i have to disable it by default so it will be enabled only when there is an actual data entry uh, i think with this we complete this renew submission part and uh, let's try it so gc root and coming to renew submission section and if i press something like b101 then it is gone no such book exists and this renew and submission button will not work and for the sake of completion let us let us just check whether the renew option is working so it is issued on november 14 uh 1849 uh, that date so i'm going to click here then are you sure want to renew the book yes book has been renewed and uh, let us che just check uh, again b100 and you can see that it is issued, I mean renewed on today and the number of days elapsed is zero. And for now, let us, want, let us do just one more thing. Let us check the submission. So B100, are you sure want to return the book? Yes, I want to return. Book has been submitted. And now if I type B100 here, then no such books exist in the record. Now we will have to issue that. So one more thing I have to do is when there is a successful renew or submission, I want to refresh this book entry, right? I mean, uh, now I can't show that, so I will just uh, do it again. So B100 is available, Harry Potter, and member 100 is available, love cell, yes. So, okay, book issue complete. Now, if I come here, then there is uh, these entries. Now, if I press on submission or renew, I have to refresh the data automatically. So, coming back here, we have this 
uh, enter book ID here. So what I'm going to do is we have a method here load book information to so I will call this one manually when there is a successful submission or something. So let's come here then we have load submission operation and load renew operation and when there is a successful submission or renewal so let's check whether there is success book has been submitted we manually call this book information with the null entry because it is not a action specific so load book information 2 will be called when we successfully submit the book or when we successfully renew the book we will update so that part is okay uh, let me just run the program once again so processing that access entry gc root now if i renew a book b100 and by clicking our submit a book b100 submission are you sure want to return the book yes i want to okay book has been submitted and you can see no such book exists in the issue record so uh, one thing I can do is, I mean, uh, okay, uh, I mean, that is fine. Or I can just call something else. I think for now it is fine. The data is refreshing. So, so far, so good. Uh, I think that's the end of this video. In the upcoming videos, we will update the user interface uh, to make it much more better. As always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.